welcome back once again folks how are you all doing so as part of the schedule itself first we will talk about bitcoin then ethereum then we got something to talk about on dogecoin guys i think the time has come to jump back into dogecoin i believe it or not maybe this might blow enough for a move to the upside and then last up we have phantom guys steer, steer step in price action to the upside most likely targeting 13 dollars down the line let's see how that happens but before that we got to be talking about bitcoin guys so as discussed on the previous video this is the point of control right this is essentially your zone where most of the price action is formulating if i put on the vpvr right here you would see that the volume node has started formulating on this entire zone right here now essentially bitcoin going all the way towards these levels won't be a matter of concern at all because this is kind of like an uptrend right here guys what we are doing in the bigger picture is that we are trying to print in higher lows right this one being the major one this one being the major one and this one quite literally resolved to the upside testing the previous all time high right here yes we can expect some consolidation guys because before the breakout of any previous all time high you do go through some consolidation right just take a look at this one right here below the $20,000 BDC and then you had your rise to the upside so this is something which we can expect back again once again I mean, this is this is not this is no problem at all. Now, what we can expect down the line is that if the momentum starts weighing in and out from fifty-eight thousand dollars, the first and the foremost retest is going to be around for fifty-two thousand dollars flat, because that is also a structurally important price level, guys. As you can see, most of the price action structure, most of the price action activity happened across fifty-two thousand five hundred dollar regions all throughout the month of february extending towards the month of may itself before we quite literally went down all the way towards thirty thousand dollars right so essentially we have to keep this in mind guys this is going to be the level of most of the relevance for the entire week itself if you see bitcoin going below sixty thousand dollars most likely you could be targeting the downside moves coming all the way towards the 200 simple on the four hour time frame because guys there's one more thing which you can talk about right you can see the behavior of the 200 simple on the four hour time frame this one carries on most of the exponential trends to the upside not your choppy trends for sure sure not your choppy trends for sure guys because all throughout this range right here this the, the 200 symbol was crossing above the 55 and then getting back below it again and again so this was kind of like a choppy behavior in terms of the price action itself and most of the smooth looking up up trends are happening alongside the 200 symbol on the 4 hour guys which is why which is why $52,000 is severely important for most of the market participants trying to trade altcoins as well guys because if bitcoin loses $52,000 maybe we could be looking at some bloodshed on altcoins itself now this was the risk, this was the risk management perspective towards things now we can finally talk about the bullish stuff in the market right because this is everybody is this is something which everybody is waiting for i guess 1618 sitting in at $85000 guys this is our ultimate target matlab matlab dekho ho sakta hai nahi bhi ho sakta hai jayega to bahut hi acha hai nahi jayega to ab kya hi bol sakte hain yahan pe consolidate kar sakta hai kuch time ke liye idhar niche bhi aa sakta hai kuch bhi kar sakta hai bitcoin but most likely we could be looking at a further continuation like all the way towards 85000 dollars because this one is aligning with the fibonacci projection coming from 350 itself guys all right all right, all right. my bad my bad got to be jumping into daily to see that yep yep you can see right here guys so this indicator right here the steer upper kadabra hocus focus the only reason why i use this one is because guys this is a fibonacci projection of the your two base moving averages right let me get rid of everything let me just get rid of 55 21 and the 200 itself and we'll just talk about this fibonacci golden ratio guys so this is the, the gray line right here is the base moving average and the orange line right here is the second base moving average right you're dealing with 111 and 350 moving average both of them being in a fibonacci sequence and we're going to be targeting this, the upper side of this entire red band right here most likely this is the 200 simple moving extension of the 350 simple moving average i guess guys look i'm going to be diving deep into how these things are actually functioning but most like all right this is the two extension this is two extension most likely coming from 111 or 350 moving average itself and the only reason why i stick to this one is because guys if you just simply go ahead and if you back test this one on the blx index itself where most of the bitcoin history lies at you will know what i'm talking about you will simply know what i'm talking about and if you talk about momentum push to the upside you can see guys bitcoin likes to behave like this bitcoin likes to accumulate alongside the yellow moving average average from this Fibonacci extension which is I believe the 1618 extension right maybe uh, no it, this is 1.4 extension from the 350 moving average itself so Bitcoin likes to kind of just crawl towards I don't know guys if that's gonna happen once again or not but the purple line 
purple line magenta line purple line it's kind of like hovering on these levels right here so we could be targeting 120000 dollars bitcoin as well so these are your backbones these are your areas of interest where most of the price action could happen and this is where most of the market is targeting guys because look bitcoin going all the way towards 120 is not a far fetched opinion at all this is like a 200 this is like a 100% move from these levels right although if you talk about the liquidity kind of flow in into the crypto assets this will take bitcoin into 2 trillion dollars in market capitalization this is most likely going to be the game changing moment in time guys because most likely nothing no conglomerate no company or anything for that matter is going to be on par with bitcoin in terms of the market capitalization itself with this move maybe bitcoin can do that right so guys the deal is pretty simple bitcoin because we have to pay a lot of attention into it but as far as this level is holding right here let me put on an alert as well because this one is on binance i do believe right here so yep there goes the alert and this is going to be the major major point of control guys because if we fail this one most likely we're coming back into 50000 regions and that is where most of the interesting things would start happening once again once again guys once again right now there's one more thing i had to talk about right there's one more thing i had to talk about i just can't seem to recall it but i do believe that was quite important was that really important because it's the long position of bitcoin which i have and this one is stimulated on binance guys this is directly coming from binance so one btc long at 45000 bitcoin and most of the most of the risk management has shifted towards 52000 guys because if 52000 is not able to hold the price action most likely we will be coming back down onto these levels once again unfortunately right most likely the price action will come down all the way towards 52 thousand dollars if we lose this one if we lose 58000 guys which is why most of the risk management i'm going to be getting rid of half of the position if we lose 50000 to the downside and i would be interesting in taking out the entire position if bitcoin starts rolling below 40000 dollars guys that's this is as clear as it can get right because if that happens maybe something else is going to be happening down the line but <laughs> to be honest with you i do not think anything is going to stop bitcoin right here most likely this level will be held and most likely in a couple of weeks we will be sitting in at 84000 dollars most likely guys most likely so hit that like bell and subscribe because i do not want to make a video just trying to repost those videos of me telling you that maybe bitcoin can go all the way to these levels in a week or something like that look this is not a financial advice this can't be a financial advice so manage your risks as well as you keep on targeting these levels guys remember bulls make money bears make money pigs are going to get slaughtered right pigs will always get slaughtered so <laughs> maybe try to identify what you are doing guys look ask yourself with all the diligence that you have did you profit in this run to the upside just ask yourself that right did you profit in this down leg to the downside ask yourself that as well if both of your answers are no stick to spot holdings let me just give you a plain blank perspective about things right because this money you're playing with most likely if you did not come out profitable in this generous giving market maybe future trading is not for you and if you did not capitalize on this retest on these levels $30000 bitcoin as well back again guys similar thing similar situation right so ask yourself very carefully because if bitcoin actually goes towards 300000 and if the mo if most of the crypto assets do shine and and at the meantime you are stuck trying to long and short crypto assets on leverage with no experience and without gaining anything right most likely it will not work out for you guys look do not repeat the mistakes that i did back in the good old days man holy shit one of the biggest part of my life regret about my life is right here guys look am i over it most definitely i'm over it guys look the amount of trading right here on these levels is something that i could never imagine back when i was trading right here guys but i had to go through this entire fucking harsh reality for 3 years man shit so just just ask yourself right just just ask yourself very very carefully this is your activity were you profitable in this leg to the upside or not how much money do you have right now were you profitable in this bear leg or not ask this to yourself guys this is this is like this question should shake your grounds and this should tell you a lot of things about your reality if you are coming out profitable kind of repeat that strategy once again guys because look do not get ahead get ahead of yourself as a whole maybe you can simply replicate the strategy or maybe you can simply hold or maybe you can simply go for call exposure in the market or maybe you can short all coins as bitcoin goes to the upside these strategies can work out if you have your risk management because most likely if you came out profitable from this leg to the upside or this leg to the downside you had a good risk management you had a good system so ask yourself guys now it doesn't matter if you came out profitable as a whole or not 
just remember the trades that were good just remember the trades that actually printed you cash right good feelings guys good feelings when you have your trading account loaded up that is when you should sell the fuck out of your entire trading stash and move the fuck on in life look guys you have to identify your own euphoria right your euphoria could start arising on these levels your euphoria your euphoria essentially your equity euphoria could start arising right here as well what a lot of people do is that they would want to capitalize extra on the euphoria that they have that is where everything gets down the hole that is where everything gets fucked up guys look let me tell you let me tell you a small little story right here so anybody who was trying to long bitcoin out of these levels right here on futures right on futures just to hold a million dollars in long position you were paying more than 5 to 6000 dollars a day literally that was your payout right so you were paying 5 to 6000 dollars to hold 1 million dollars in long position on bitcoin itself so even if you were long on 10x leverage with 100000 dollars in your trading account 20 days guys all right all right sorry 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 my bad my bad let me just i <laughs> looks like i don't know math looks like looks like i completely don't know math but guys look the only thing that i'm trying to tell you guys right here is that these conditions will will be observed these conditions will be observed in the market for example if you simply want to go ahead with that exposure and if you want to keep on funding your long position in the market most likely you will get wrecked just by paying the funding itself that is the harsh reality right so essentially 20 days you will be wiped out just to hold that long position with a 10x leverage long exposure in the market that is it guys look these things will happen again and again and well just try to evaluate the bigger side of things guys if you are looking to make big money in the market have the fucking thought process as a big one right do not think like a fucking small headed you know the deal guys you know the deal it's just as proportionate to as much as you can take in the wealth that you perceive is equal to amount of the information that your brains can perceive is equal to the amount of things that you are open for guys look you have to have a very open brains in terms of making a lot of decisions right you want to add up extra zero to your income do you have that extra zero in your brains or not do you have that mental escalation onto new level or not because if you're stuck right there if you're trading 100 dollars and try to be a millionaire most likely you'll waste 100 dollars or 1000 dollars again and again again and again again and again again and again and the market will keep on giving you lessons guys the market will keep on doing that to you right okay all right all right back again to ethereum i do believe yesterday there was something similar i did some ramble and pep talks on the, what you should do or what should look guys you can do anything you want yeah you, you you can simply you can simply just do whatever you like but if you are talking about money be very precise about your thought process be very precise about the actions that you take be very precise about the this is this is you're making guys this is not Let's just say this is not fun and games. This is not fun and games. If you want to realize that gains, you have to have a system, a strategy, a plan, a management. And if you're lagging in anything, guys, you can go ahead for consultation. Also, Crypto Educator Community. Look, there are four people. There are four to five people in this team as a whole. There are big hedge fund managers also who would simply like to help you out, right? So links will be down in the description, guys. The consultancy. If you could not afford that, you can join the Discord server as well. The consultancy is two hundred dollars for one hour, right? It's not going to be me who's going to be consulting. It's going to be somebody. else as well alongside me so it's not just your regular me talking about average joe and average i don't know guys average money average income or something like that is going to be something beyond that yep yep these things are something you have to keep in your mind remember the wealth that you perceive in market is equal to the things that you know in life well 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 now for ethereum guys look this is the only thing which i would like to draw this fucking shit looks I, i this feels to me like i'm i'm back into my first standard second standard in my school and i'm just trying to draw a cup and handle with a fucking i don't know guys a, a cardboard up top which is trying to stop it from spilling but essentially as soon as i remove the fucking cardboard from the top right here this will roll all the way towards 800,000 10,000 dollars maybe maybe for the downside guys because holy crap it's here is on a rip to the upside i don't have much to talk about on this one guys so most of the risk management is going to be completely in accordance to bitcoin itself but the only thing which i'm seeing in the small to mid time frames if you are long on 50x long <laughs> leverage exposure on ethereum try to manage your risk below this entire zone guys this one right here this is quite important right well 4000 dollars pretty flat and rounded figure right here rounded shape as well now guys remember one more thing guys i think i sh- maybe i should start posting reposting the videos itself we were quite literally sitting in at 2000 dollars we were trying to scale into ethereum as we were going to the downside 
and we kept on scaling until this fucking point right here guys we had a risk management stop loss right here all right quite literally this this is what was happening you can revert the video back into these days where i was simply talking about how to nail this trade right here you simply scale all the way towards ethereum coming into these levels have a stop loss below this week right here and that is when you can so yep 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 we were targeting 618 guys holy shit we did spend a lot of time right here but we did make our way towards 618 right it was a good looking trade from these levels for about a 77 percent move but the ultimate target which you were kind of speculating on was at deep retracement points at 886 itself which is why guys most of the profit taking has happened from the bounce and on the bigger picture look guys on the bigger picture this is happening right this is happening we're kind of taking out the 86 we're going towards all, all right, we are all, we are at the one on one. Most of the exchanges have crossed the previous all time high for Ethereum itself. So new things are happening for Ethereum as a whole. New things are happening, which is why most of the risk management on the macro for Ethereum is going to be below twenty seven hundred dollars, and for Bitcoin is going to be below forty uh, forty thousand dollars flat. Right, forty k Bitcoin, twenty seven hundred Ethereum. That is your ultimate risk management, and this is not a financial advice. <laughs> going to be jumping straight into Dogecoin right here now. Look, guys this is what is happening maybe the 200 simple will have that bullish crossover with your 55 simple trying to cross this one to the upside because the structure is looking nice we are kind of holding this grind to the upside and guys look this is the grind which i'm going to be speculating on right me personally yep most likely i'm going to play this trade guys because you have a clear cut risk management back again once again right here dogecoin goes below this price point i'm not interested once again i would wait for this one to chop out even further and spend some time out of these levels but with that said most likely i'm going to be targeting the previous all-time high dogecoin at 69 cents once again most likely that will happen guys if, if bitcoin and ethereum are able to hold on to key levels maybe dogecoin will start moving all the way towards these levels could take a month could take some weeks or something like that but maybe this could start happening guys now the only reason why we have risk management below this price point is because guys last time we did that bullish cross we were doing similar kind of stuff in the market remember we were grinding against one single support line which was diagonally inclined to the upside now essentially as soon as you broke this grind well to hell with the bullish cross guys to simply hell with the bullish cross nothing worked out and this one simply kind of retraced on deep levels right here for this entire wave to the upside i think we came yeah, well this one came back down all the way towards the 7 and 6 retracement itself right after losing this grind to the downside essentially we're kind of making a grind one more time which is why most of the risk management is going to be right here guys stop losses stop losses below the structure low sitting in at 22 cents if you go below the price point right here most likely we'll test the range lows once again sitting in at 15 cents dogecoin yuri stop the dogecoin from falling most likely yuri cannot do that <laughs> most likely yuri won't be able to do that guys look the, the the thing right here is the 10 hour time frame is quite significant for dogecoin guys because this is something which caught the entire exponential 100x move that happened on dogecoin guys look so the bullish crossover between the 200 simple and the 55 simple happened right here on these levels which was which was a mere sense 0.25 cents right here 0.25 cents per dogecoin you get your first buy signal and 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 bam all right this was this was an attempt to cross this one to the downside this is what is happening this is what i feel is going to happen once again right here on the price action guys now all right so you simply slide to the upside once again and this is where a real bearish cross happened right at 34 cents finally isn't that madness guys if that is not madness you only tell me you try to pinpoint what is better than a 12,000% purely technical, purely technical trade. Just tell me what is better than that. I would be open to it, guys. Leave your thoughts and opinions and all of your favorite shit coins down in the description where we can simply go ahead and we can, we can try to find these good looking setups, right? Because one single bullish cross between the <laughs> the 200 simple and the 55 simple on the 10 hour time frame could lead the asset going above 12,000 person, 13,000 person in the market. That is just madness, guys. Now, let's just try to go ahead with some fractal analysis on Dogecoin right here, guys. Now, fractal is pattern is a bigger side of pattern which kind of repeats which likes to repeat right you can see right here the reaccumulation which happened between your 0 0.8 all right 8 cents and 4 cents right here 100 percent range on dogecoin that took the price action all the way towards well 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 71 cents guys this was this was crazy 12x i think this was 12 to 15x once again yep 12x so this fractal led the price action going all the way towards the <laughs> the all-time high that was just set in right six nine cents we are looking at similar price action structure guys look let me get rid of this moving average right here 
now you can see so this is a pretty much expanded form of this fractal right here guys you see the first sell wave coming in and taking the price action down on the key levels right here similar thing happened right here and then what are you looking at you're looking at some crazy grinds which are breaking to the downside and then on the second grind you are really trying to push to the upside right here so what is happening on dogecoin back again you break the grind and then you formulate another grind that takes the price action all the way towards the upside guys you can see it's pretty much clear right here fractal analysis fractal analysis now i am not a fan of fractals i'm simply not a fan of fractals but, <laughs> but the crypto market right now is fuck all trending man it's wherever you put money most likely you'll come out profitable right which is why we can expect some crazy moves on dogecoin itself which is why for a good looking trade on dogecoin maybe you could have your major risk management below 20 cents and you can have your major upside targets at least towards the 2618 guys which is going to be 1.5 to 1.6 dollars <laughs> holy fucking shit man this potentially could happen dogecoin could go beyond 1.5 to 2 dollars right and then to all the people who are saying that shiva inus can't go to 1 dollar just take a look at this these are the same people who are trying to say dogecoin can never go to 1 dollar never ever never ever will dogecoin go to 1 dollar all throughout this wide vast range <laughs> Now it's finally making its way towards one dollar, man. Although fundamentally this is useless, guys. The blockchain, the Dogecoin blockchain, is completely useless. It it's just <laughs> markets are markets, man. Markets are markets. And as far as I'm a technical trader, I'm going to be preferring most of the technical structures in my favor or against my favor, right? Now this one looks to me like this is a good looking opportunity in the market, which is why if it is coming in my risk management foundations, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump into the trade right off, guys. All right. With that said, you leave your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section, guys. Down in the comment section, right? Leave your shitcoin as well, favorite shitcoin. And if you've not hit that like, subscribe, and if you've not shared the video right now, do that. Just do that. That should help me a lot. And that should help the entire community grow as well, guys. Look, we are here to spread awareness, right? We are beyond right and wrong. We are beyond, we are beyond any stupid fucking thing which is happening on Twitter or something like that. We are finding our setups. We are capitalizing on that. And this is something which we have been proven again and again and again and again, guys. One year anniversary coming for Crypto Decade pretty soon. We have to hit that thousand subscriber mark pretty soon as well. Now, with that said, I'm going to be catching all of you pretty soon. Bye for now.